Hi all, Nick Silverstein here. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to update Tiger to the latest that Tiger can be updated to, if that makes any sense. So how to update Tiger, because most people don't realize it's not the same as updating Yosemite or something like that. But this is not turning a power book into Yosemite. This is how to update a power book running Tiger. So you have 10.4.11 plus Safari, you know, whatever the latest version of Safari is that runs on an old power book like this. So let's get started. Roll the intro video and then we'll get started. All right. So this is how to install updates on Tiger. So first thing you want to do is hit the Apple and then you want to hit software update. And believe it or not, they're still supporting Tiger to this day um, at the time of this recording. But this could change any time because Panther was supported until last year and Panther came out in 2003 and it was supported until 2014 for updating. So I don't know how much longer Tiger will be supported for updating. It is an older operating system. It came out in 2005. So at the time of recording this, you can still download updates to um, through the uh, software update utility. But that's just at the time of this recording. I don't know about the future. You know? So, um. There is a setting I like to change in Tiger. If you go into System Prefs and then you go to Energy Saver, I like to change it so when it's on Power Adapter, it's set to better performance. And when you're on Battery, it's set to better battery life. Now, the battery in this computer is pretty much shot. Uh, I need to buy a new battery. They're like 20 US dollars, you know. Um, they're not that uh, expensive. Um, but it's just, I just haven't gotten around to ordering it yet. But once I get a new battery in here, I think it should last me another year or so you know, on battery. But, uh, a great computer you know it's an old computer great for running vintage games you know this computer is perfect for running vintage games so if you have some old games from your childhood uh it's like perfect for that so you just literally have to hit um Select everything. What I recommend doing is installing Java after you update OS 10, and then just hit install one item. Because I don't believe it or not, I don't use Java at all on this machine. Uh, so I've heard it will play Minecraft in the Java version. Um, totally fine. Um, but. I heard Minecraft is really laggy on these old power books, um, but it's better than an iBook, you know, but I heard you can play Minecraft on this, uh, computer. Actually, I don't play Minecraft. I wanted to get into it, but, uh, I never really got into it, you know, it's just like a game that 
I've never gotten into. So I'm gonna let this download, but if something exciting happens, we'll update you. So once it's finished downloading, then it expands and verifies, and then it installs the update. Um, it will install the update once it's uh, done it's expanding, expanding and verifying. And now it says preparing the installation, preparing for installation, installing Mac OS X update combined. And what this will do is this update basically takes you from whatever version of 10.4 you installed to 10.4.11, which is the latest update for Tiger. Um, it's not the latest update of Mac at all. It's actually quite old. But, uh, it's, it's the latest version of Tiger. Essentially. And I miss the way that uh, old operating, old Mac operating systems, all versions of OS X had an intro video, except for Tiger. I mean, except for Lion and above. I really hate that. I hate that they got rid of it. Um, I would like to, I would have liked to see it in uh, later versions of Mac. But they're like, oh, we gotta make our download smaller, so we'll skip out on the intro video. I wouldn't actually mind if it was an extra gig or an extra 200 megs for a decent intro video, you know. Uh, so then once it's once it's done in, well, it's gotta finish the installation. But once it's done installing, it will prompt you to restart. And then you just literally restart. And it might reboot twice. But never stop it from booting up after you install an update. If you ever stop it in the middle of booting up from an update. You could have you could corrupt the operating system. And I've done that several times by accident. Because my computer got really slow. Um, I have a Power Mac G4. 400 megahertz. Um, and I installed Leopard on it, which is actually unsupported, and it got so slow, I just cut out the update in the middle, and literally you just have to press enter once that restart dialog comes up, and literally the installation just fail. Not not this one, but the installation of the power, the Power Mac G4 just. It failed because I stopped it in the middle, and you never want to do that. Always takes a few seconds for the screen to post, and then comes Mac. And you know, Macs have booted up the same way for years. Let me make sure you can see the whole screen. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Max have booted up the same way for years, so ever since um, I think 10.2 all the way up to Mavericks, it's booted up like this. Um, can't tell the difference unless it's actually booted up. And if the install did fail, you just have to put the Tiger disk back into your machine and reinstall Tiger that way. And this is basically how to update uh, Mac so you have the latest version of Tiger. I'm not going to make another video on an iBook because the process is identical. Um, and it's also identical. There it goes. It restarted again. It always has to restart twice. I don't know why. But that's the way Tiger always booted up after the update. It always boots and then you get a black screen. And don't be panicked because I thought it was in that boot loop where it just kept booting up. 
and restarting and booting up and restarting but it just does that twice but if it does it more than four times I would be worried but if it doesn't do it uh, if it does it less than four times you should be fine you know? and in this video I'll also show you the specs of uh, um, maybe in the next video I'll show you the specs of my power book because the specs are pretty high. And you can get a power book on eBay pretty cheap. You know, just make sure you don't get a, a defective one. Make sure when you're buying one, you spend at least, well, at the current time, they're worth like two to three hundred dollars. That's what it was worth when I bought this one. I bought it for three fifty on Amazon, and uh, it's a really good uh, computer. Um, so once it reboots, uh, you want to go. Uh, let me show you. You want to go back up to the Apple menu, and then you want to hit Software Update. Again. Make sure, okay, good. Let it check for a new software. And it's really cool once you update this because you'll have iTunes 9. But I'll show you how to get iTunes 9 because it doesn't install that by default. Also, I recommend installing, uh, I'm, I'm checking Java at this point. You can always install it later. Um, and then just type in your password, and then just hit enter, and then just hit agree, and you can read that, but, you know, it's pointless reading that, these, these days it's so outdated, the software. But now, um, before we, this is a security update. It's very important that you install that, because without installing the security update, you can't update Safari. And Safari is really important that you update that. And then QuickTime, this is the latest version of QuickTime that runs on a PowerBook. I mean, on a, on a Tiger. And then migration, DVD sharing. I think you can actually share uh, your DVD with uh, a Leopard computer or a Snow Leopard computer and then the uh, X11 update which is important if you installed X11 and let's see are we at 10. yes we're at version 10.4.11 which is pretty cool and you can see my processor it's a 1.67 gigahertz power PC G4, which is the fastest processor they put inside of a power book G4, and uh, 1.5 gigs of RAM. I'll probably show off the specs in a later video. So it's downloading all the updates. Um. I will cut it and then we'll be back when something exciting happens. So once so once it's done downloading then it will install as it did before and uh, just let it do its thing. Um, you'll see green check boxes by everything that installed successfully. Um, if you don't see green check boxes and you see little arrows, that means you just need to restart. Oh, and also it's very important that you restart after installing updates. You don't want to um you don't want to not restart. You, you don't want to open up programs after you installed an update because 
most likely those programs won't work without restarting, you know. And also, um, how do I explain it? If you install the 10.4.11 update and you don't restart, all your apps will be broken. Um, you have to restart after installing that update because it updates every single app in your applications uh, folder and basically is impossible to to update to that and then not use um it's possible to update to that and not um and not restart so then it says do you want to shut down or restart just hit restart let it do his thing it bongs <laughs> I love the sound when Apple computers boot up it makes a really nice sound um, I might even make a video of how to install Windows on a computer like this because Windows is totally unsupported on a PowerBook but Microsoft released a software called Microsoft Virtual PC 2000, no, Virtual PC 7 for Mac. And it's a really old version of Virtual PC. And it's really cool if you can get your hands on a copy. And, uh, and you could just install it on the old PowerBook. And it will run XP or Windows 2000 in an old computer like this it's really awesome and if you really want to push it you could possibly run Windows 7 or Windows Vista of course Arrow won't work your Ethernet won't work and the majority of hardware will not work um, but uh it does install Windows 7 in Microsoft Virtual PC 7 for Mac and that only runs on a PowerPC processor so that will be a video for a future time so once you get the security update installed then now you can go back to Apple and hit software update Okay, I'm going to unselect Java again. You can always install that later. And this is the one that we want Safari. 4.1.3 is the latest version of Safari that will run on Tiger. It's not the latest version of Safari at all, but it's the latest version that will run on Tiger. So, literally, just install that. So that went painless and easy, and you just have to restart, and then you'll have Safari 4 on Tiger. And people don't realize that if you don't install the security update, you can't get to this update. And uh, it's really important that you install Safari update so you can visit the majority of the web. I mean... Most of the web does work on this. I think Dropbox works. I'm not 100% sure. I think they're going to drop support for it um, for Safari 4. But a lot of different websites do work on with it. Leopard, if you want Safari 5 and you want to watch YouTube videos, I recommend Leopard. And I'm going to make a future video on how to install Leopard on a power book and I'm also going to make a future video on how to install um, uh, the updates for Leopard because it's a little, a little different um,
So now we're at the desktop. We're pretty much all up to date. There's no more updates after Safari except Java, which I don't use. And let's see if Safari works. See, it looks like the modern, well, kind of like the modern Safari a little bit. And the Apple website loads pretty much fine on this computer. And let's see if YouTube will work. YouTube. Yeah, it says no longer supported. Alright, but if you hit no thanks, let's see if it works. Uh, Flash Player does not work on this computer. Hmm. That's me. Uh, let me know if you like the new channel artwork. It's pretty cool. And the YouTube video actually plays. Hi you, all, this is Nick Silverstein here. The that is really shocking. I cannot believe that these videos are playing on Tiger. Um, currently today it works. His team have a lot of work to do. Projects and documents are just piling up in the. You can see the controls are gone. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little buggy. I recommend 240p on these old machines. Yeah, this is one of my videos. Hi all, Nick Silverstein here. And today, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We are putting Mac OS X Yosemite on a dome latitude E6500. I think we'll have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, and I hope you guys Let's see if the intro video plays. It's 240p, but it does work. Oh my gosh. I'm shocked. I didn't think it would work. It's horrible quality, but it works. It works. That's amazing. Um, so that's it. That's how to install updates on Tiger. Uh, YouTube does work on it, as I just proved. Um, the date is Tuesday, May 19th, 2015. At this current time, YouTube does work on an old power book. Uh, probably the next video, I'm either going to show off how to install Tiger on an iBook because my iBook optical drive is actually busted so um... we're gonna do it on a USB stick sorry my camera cut out over there so if we install Tiger on a on a on my iBook um... G4 we're gonna have to do it on a USB stick and uh... that's a little different um... because the optical drive on my uh, iBook is busted and I can't put a DVD in there for the life of me. Alright, so I rambled enough in this video. So I know some of you like my rambling. But, uh, I've done enough. Alright, see ya. Peace.